Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to jump into today's crafting tutorial because I'm gonna be making another acrylic sign that you guys can see behind me. Now, if you've been subscribed to me for a while, then you have seen that I have already made an acrylic sign before. Um, it's hanging in my daughter's room. It just says Aubrey's Babe Cave on it, but I hand painted the letters on there. So I really wanted to make a sign similar to that for my craft room. So I decided to go ahead and make my own, except this time, instead of hand painting my letters on there, I'm actually going to be cutting out some permanent vinyl with my Cricut. All right, guys, so for today's craft, you're gonna need a few things. You're obviously going to need your sheet of acrylic which I have here I got from Lowe's I just need to peel the plastic off of this um, because obviously acrylic is supposed to be clear so they have like this plastic that you just peel off and then it's ready to go you're also going to need the paint of your choosing I'm using like this hot pink apple barrel paint that I got from Walmart it's called diva pink it was like a hot pink and I think it just matches um, a lot of the hot pink stuff that I have in my craft room already and then obviously I'm going to be using a paintbrush to paint on the paint and then in my last video I just used like some oil based paint markers to actually paint on my words but this time I thought it'd be fun to try out some vinyl with my Cricut so I have some um, Starcraft white permanent vinyl and I'm going to use my Cricut to cut this out. So I'm super excited to jump into this. So let's get started. All right guys, so we have our acrylic here. So like I said before, we just have to peel off this plastic and I'm only gonna peel the plastic off of one side, the side that I'm painting. And then once it is completely dry, then we can flip it over, peel off the other side and then put our vinyl on. Okay, so as you guys can see, now it is clear. Um, like I said, there is some plastic on the back side that we're not gonna peel up until we are ready to work on the back side. So I just peeled off that and we are ready to start painting. So I really don't have um, a process as far as like painting this goes. I just drop some paint on and then I'll just smear it all over. So I have a wide paintbrush here and I just go right over it and just start smearing it around. And you just wanna try to make sure you get it, you know, as evenly as possible. You'll see like some places that are darker or if you like go across it, um, it'll get really light. Kinda like this area right here, you see how it's like lighter? You wanna make sure you cover all those areas with paint because whenever you see um, like a clear spot or just like a lighter spot that you didn't have as much paint on, you're gonna see that on the other side. So you just wanna make sure you're getting a really good coat unless you're going for that look and you want it to be like that. All right guys, so I am done painting this for now. There are some like white faded spots here. Let me show you guys up above so you can see it better. So there are some like faded spots. I am going to do a second coat of paint once this dries. Um, I don't wanna just like keep smearing it around. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys like the edges. So whenever like, I'm painting the edges, I just, you know, go like that to kind of get those brush strokes in the edges. I want that all along my edges. So that's what I do, but you can do whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour or so, and then we'll come back and paint on our second coat. All right guys, since we are waiting on our paint to dry on that acrylic sign, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the vinyl that we're gonna be putting on the other side. So obviously for this part, you're going to need your Cricut mat, and then I'm gonna be using this permanent adhesive white Starcraft vinyl for my words. All right, so now I need to design my actual words. So I have Cricut Design Space and I've opened a blank new canvas and I'm going to insert a text box. And the first word I'm going to type is the, and I know I want it in the font called Kaiden just because it's like straight and narrow and clean. And I just want something simple for this word. And then I'm gonna type craft room and I'm gonna be using a different font. Um, like a handwritten script type font and it's called Kalisha Demo. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, 
but I found this font off of defont.com and I will link that website in my description below for you guys. And I just downloaded it and now I can use it in my Cricut Design Space. So now I'm just going to shrink down my canvas so I can kind of see what I'm working with here. So then I just try to center the in between craft room and then I'm going to select craft room and weld it so that it cuts it out as like one continuous word and not separated at each letter. And then I'm going to attach the to craft room so that it cuts it out on one mat and it doesn't try to separate it into different mats. And I'm just going to size it up and click make it. And then this pop-up always comes up whenever you cut something on your 24 inch by 12 inch mat. So you just hit okay. And then I'm just going to scoot this down a little bit and then I'm going to hit continue and then the material should pop up and I'm going to click just the regular vinyl cause I'm just using, you know, permanent adhesive vinyl and then we're ready to cut it out. So I'm ready to cut out my vinyl. So I'm just laying it out on my mat and I'm using my little rotary cutter here to just cut it to size. Then I'm just gonna use my squeegee to just flatten out the vinyl across it. Okay, and I think because it's such a big piece, I'm just gonna add a little bit of masking tape just around some of the edges, just to help secure it down. Okay, and now we are ready to load in our mat and start cutting out our vinyl. All right guys, so now we are ready to weed out our vinyl. So I'm just going to peel up the tape that I put on the corners to help secure down our vinyl because it was such a big piece. So now what I like to do is I just kind of like make um, little marks with my tool here and I'm gonna go around and just cut off the excess um, for scrap vinyl just because, you know, I try to use as much scraps as I can because it's such a waste if you don't. So then I'm just going to take my um, rotary tool again and I'm just going to cut around it before I weed it out just to try to save as much excess vinyl as I can. And then I'm just going to peel up my excess vinyl and then we can weed out our design. And look at how much vinyl I saved. So now we are ready to actually weed out our design here. So I'm just going to use my little weeding tool and just weed it out like I normally would. This is probably like my favorite part of all of the vinyl projects. I love weeding. I know a lot of people hate it, but when you have like good vinyl and it just weeds like butter and so smooth and easily you don't mind weeding like look at that just minimal effort i just weeded out all of that vinyl now i just have to pop out the insides of these letters okay and now our vinyl is completely weeded out it's kind of hard to see it with the white background i know i'm sorry but that's our vinyl and it's ready to go on our sign. All right, so now that this is done, let's go check on our sign and see how dry it is and see if we can put that second coat on. Okay, so it's still a little wet in the middle here where the paint was a little thicker, but the rest of the sign looks pretty dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my second coat. So same thing. I just drop some paint on and I will literally just paint over the areas that I already did, just making sure that I get it as evenly and as you know thick as possible so that there's no like see-through spots on the other side. Because hopefully this will be the last coat that we put on, we won't have to put on anymore. So once this is dry, we should be able to put on our vinyl.
All right, guys, so just as before, I'm going to let this dry and we'll come back and we should be able to put the vinyl on. All right, guys, so it has been about two hours and our acrylic paint is now completely dry. So now this is where, if you are worried about the durability of your sign, I would recommend either coating your sign with Mod Podge, spraying it with some clear acrylic gloss spray paint, or coating it with polycrylic or something to seal in the acrylic if you're worried about it getting scratched or damaged. I'm not worried about it because I have a ton of acrylic scraps that I can always repaint and make another one, and I'm not gonna be moving it around. Once I put it on my wall, the next time I take this down is probably when we move out of this house. So I'm not going to be doing that with mine just because I'm not worried about it. So now I am ready to flip my acrylic piece over. And this is what it looks like on this side. So completely smooth. We just have to peel off the plastic like we did on the other side. So satisfying and look how nice and shiny it looks now so pretty okay so now we are ready to put our vinyl on our sign so I'm gonna set you guys up so I can do that okay so here is the vinyl that we have already weeded out so now I'm going to put on my transfer tape so that I can put it on my sign in one piece everything centered up and good to go and I'm using this roll of transfer tape that I got off of Amazon I will link this down below along with all the other supplies that I'm using today I have had this roll forever and I haven't ran out yet but it's not so sticky that I have issues with it like letting go of my vinyl like I've had with other transfer tapes and the way I would like describe this one is it's just like sticky enough to pick up your vinyl and it's see-through to where you can see what you're putting it on perfectly but it does have like a little bit of like a fog to it as you can see but I just love that this comes in a six inch roll like this I mean obviously you could get it in another size um, but I love this six inch roll and the fact that it was super inexpensive and you get so much for your buck Like I just highly recommend this transfer tape All right, so now I'm gonna take my squeegee and just scrape on My transfer tape just to make sure it is really adhered to the vinyl and then I'm just going to flip my Cricut mat over and then peel it off like this And here is the design. So now we just need to remove the backing. I'm just trying to figure out where I want it first. And then I'm going to remove the backing and then we'll put it on and then remove the transfer tape. Okay, so now I have the vinyl where I want it to. So now I'm just gonna take my squeegee and just scrape against it to make sure it's really adhered on there before I peel off our transfer tape. And now we are ready to peel off our transfer tape. And as always, I just go slow and I try to make it like as taut as I can so that it doesn't peel up the vinyl with the transfer tape. All right, guys, and here is our sign. So cute. I love it so much. I love this font. Just like love how simple and clean it looks. Love the hot pink paint. So now I am ready to flip this over. And this is where you would drill your holes if you wanted to hang your acrylic sign that way or attach any other hardware that you're using to hang this in my last video I did holes with a drill and then I just drilled into those same holes with a slightly bigger drill bit because whenever you're drilling into acrylic you just need to be very careful start small and work your way up to whatever size hole you need because if you just drill straight in with a really big drill bit you risk your acrylic chipping and cracking becoming shattered you don't want to mess this up so i just recommend if you are drilling holes in it start with a really small drill bit and then gradually get bigger just drilling into the same holes until you get the size that you desire because i'm just putting this acrylic sign on this wall in my craft room and i'm not going to be taking this down it's not going to be moving 
the only time I'm gonna take it down is when we move out of this house. So I am just going to be using some command strips to hang mine up today just because I'd much rather use a command strip when I can if I'm hanging something lightweight to avoid drilling into the wall unnecessarily solely because we rent every single hole that we drill we're going to have to fill and patch up so to avoid that i'm just using these command strips now these are like the heavy duty ones they're like the plasticky velcro almost kind um so i have some of these i'm just going to put on the back of this and then i'm just going to attach it to the wall all right guys so just in case whenever i am pulling this sign off of the wall when it is time for us to move out i'm kind of worried about the back of the command strip like just completely ripping off with it and it taking like a chunk of paint i don't know if this is going to do anything or help but i'm just going to put um a piece of masking tape on it so that if it does maybe i can just you know like retape it on i don't know i'm just gonna peel off the back here and put it right over the tape like so all right so moving right along to the other side same thing now i am ready to attach this to my wall so i'm gonna peel off the backs i am so excited to put our sign up look how cute okay Wow, I just eye everything. And voila, there's our new craft room sign. I'm trying to get the best angle like without getting glares in it for you guys so you guys can actually see it. Oh, it's so cute. And I love the way like the painted edges look. So cute. I love this sign, you guys. I love how it came out. I'm so happy with it. Um, hopefully the command strips hold. I feel like they will because this is so lightweight. But if something happens to it, then I'll update you guys like in a vlog and let you guys know. But I feel like it's going to be fine because it's so light. But anyways, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other of my crafting tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.